I am Suraj and this is Jaden and today we will be presenting a proposal on high resolution millimeter wave radar imaging using deep adversarial learning. There's a lot of interest in achieving the vision of full autonomy for self-driving cars and what this means is that the car has to operate in any weather conditions. A lot of companies are actually investing billions in this market to try to achieve this vision. And Qualcomm too is working in this space and has recently unveiled the Snapdragon Ride platform at CES. However, one of the biggest problems to achieving fully autonomous cars is that today's cars mainly, mainly rely on LiDARs and cameras for navigation. And these do not work in harsh weather conditions like dense fog. Take this example of a Tesla here. When the weather is clear, it works fine and it can also detect the cars as you can see on the screen here. But when it becomes foggy, it aborts and the driver has to take back control. Further, the cameras don't even detect the other cars passing by. This is where millimeter wave radars can be really helpful. Wireless signals actually go through fog, sandstorms, blizzards and do not even require light to work. This last point is important because some manufacturers like Tesla don't even use LiDAR and in low light, the cameras are not as reliable. So the question we ask here is, can we use millimeter wave radars for imaging in such scenarios where LiDARs and cameras fail? Well, luckily, 5G has pushed phased array research a lot and now we have these massive phased arrays like the ones you see here and with these phased arrays, you can actually get full 3D images of the environment rather than just a 1D range, which is what automotive radars do today. In fact, the self-driving cars on the market today, like Waymo and Tesla, are actually just using the radars for 1D ranging. So they're just detecting how far away the cars are and what speed are they moving at. Of course, there is more recent work, some from here at Qualcomm itself, that is able to extend this to 2D horizontal plane using the Snapdragon module, as you can see here. There is also research in academia that tries to do millimeter wave imaging, but we are still way behind from achieving anything that gives enough contextual information about the scene. So the question is, why isn't millimeter wave imaging good enough today? Well, actually, millimeter wave imaging is not as easy. Even if you have these large phased arrays, the resolution that you'd get is still very, very low. So here is an example from a 3D millimeter wave imaging system that we built. And yes, it is possible to get 3D images of the environment. But these radar images are very low resolution and hard to interpret. Given only the radar images, are you able to say what the object being imaged here is? But in spite of this, notice that if we overlay the car on top of this heat map, we can start to see that yes, this is in fact a car. So there is some information here that we can exploit for imaging. Additionally, low resolution is not the only reason why imaging is hard. Specularity is a big problem too. Portions of the car do not reflect signals back to the radar receiver. So some chunks of the car are just missing. And finally, the third problem one faces is multipath and artifacts, which lead to ghost reflections as you can see here. So clearly imaging with millimeter wave radars is not easy. But the good news here is that, as you can see here, the information is there in the radar image. It's just that we need to know how to extract it into something more meaningful. So here is our idea. We will cast this problem as a learning problem. We take a data driven approach that would allow us to recover high frequency shapes and details in the scene. Our intuition is that follows that although the radar reflections are hard to interpret, the environment around the car is very well structured and predictable. A car has to after all look like a car, right? It cannot, for instance, look like a dolphin. And this is not just the car. Other objects such as bikes, pedestrians, traffic infrastructure, they all come in very typical and predictable shapes. So a data driven approach can leverage these geometric priors to accurately reconstruct the scene 
from a low resolution radar input and such a learning approach can also fill in gaps that are left out because of specularity and it can remove the artifacts introduced due to multipath so what we are going to do here is leverage a conditional gan framework coupled with deep convolutional networks gans have been used to solve tasks like super resolution learning image priors and image transformations so gans are a good fit for our task at hand however adapting this approach to the wireless domain is non trivial gans have been mainly designed and optimized for vision applications wireless images are these 3d heat maps where the values correspond to signal strength the resolution is also not uniform in all dimensions so you get high resolution in depth but very low resolution in elevation and azimuth more importantly unlike images we don't have a lot of data to train on to address all of these issues we design an architecture that is able to take in 3d heat maps and convert them to 2d high resolution depth maps we customize a network of the wireless domain by using a custom loss function a novel two stream architecture and customized skip connections that can selectively pass only this high resolution information in depth from the input layers to the output layers of the conditional gan to account for lack of training and testing data we also build our own 3d millimeter wave imaging platform using a synthetic aperture radar that is sar however collecting enough data using such a platform takes too long and is not practical so we also built our own custom data data synthesizer that generates realistic training data sets it takes 3d cad models of cars along with real world street view images to generate radar shine surfaces in the scene then we apply ray tracing to model the radar reflectors based on the surface specularity finally we simulate the radar waveforms and generate the heat maps which along with the ground truth depth maps serves as a training data for our gan at this point i will let jaden take over and he will present some preliminary results from our work and also the project vision and future avenues thank you sraj we built a preliminary version of our system and collected a lot of real world millimeter wave data of cars here is an example of results here you can see the original scene and the corresponding ground truth depth map from a sterile camera we then simulate fog using a fog machine as you can see the car is no longer visible in the camera however the millimeter wave radar is still able to capture reflections from the car here i'm showing you the 3d radar 3d radar heat map and the 2d projections once we pass the 3d heat map through our network it is able to reconstruct a high resolution depth map that closely matches the ground truth As you can see, the neural network is able to fill in the missing parts of the car due to specularity and also reject artifacts. Here are more results. On the top, you see the original scene and the ground truth depth map. And below, you see the recovered image by our system. It is worth noting that our model is mostly trained on synthetic data and only fine tuned using real data. It also has never seen radar heat map through fog during training. Besides, we have conducted extensive quantitative evaluation on the dimension, range, and orientation of the car. We also compared against the baselines and show our model is not overfitted. You can find more details on our website. While these results are very promising, there is still a long way to go. We need to improve our hardware platform to using phase arrays so that we can enable real-time data capture and drive around with our system to collect a lot of data and increase our data set. For our data synthesizer, we need to improve the radar cross-section modeling and the accuracy of ray tracing so we can get better simulated data points for training. On the neural network side, we need to implement a region proposal network that is able to detect regions in the re in the scene with the target objects so that we can more easily image multiple cars and extend to humans and bikes by training for each type of object 
so we can finally get holistic scene. And the one last thing we want to do is radar fusion. If we have two radars at the front of the car, we can significantly increase the virtual aperture size of the array and get higher resolution. Here is our vision for the complete system. Using radar fusion, we get a 3D millimeter wave heat map. Then we part it with a region proposal network, which allow us to zoom in and image each object with the specific GAN trained for the object. And finally, we merge these images into a holistic scene. In fact, we have already started a region proposal network and we're seeing good results for multiple cars. We are very excited about working with Qualcomm and the Snapdragon team. We look forward to collaborating and taking guidance from you to drive this project ahead to success. Our execution plan starts with implementing the region proposal network and it moves on until eventually mounting our car to image real scenes at real time. To do this, we assemble the two graduate student team. Myself, Jaden, I work mostly on RF system and circuit design. I built a hardware platform for this project. I also have experience with millimeter wave phase arrays for imaging during my internship at IBM. Another team member, Suraj, who has extensive experience with signal processing and the application of machine learning to various domains, including high-speed parallel computing and agriculture. We are advised by Professor Harsen Ney, who is an expert on wireless and mobile sensing systems, and also Professor Gupta, who is an expert on computer vision, robotics, and deep learning. Thank you.